is Randy Cook. I am from Alert Bay, British Columbia. I am a First Nations woodcarver, sculptor, painter, kind of bridging the gap between contemporary and traditional. Uh, I've been an artist for, I would say, most of my life because it was my first passion in life. So I painted and drew for a long time and it wasn't until after I graduated from high school that I kind of seeked out my mentor, John Livingston, and did an apprenticeship program with him for six years doing carving. And uh, I also do jewelry as well, engraving. Uh, this piece here is a box drum and the uh, story behind it is uh, it's related to our sacred ceremonies and one of our most sacred ceremonies is our Hamatsa society and when the Hamatsa comes into our big house he is lured in by a woman and she carries a copper and the woman is the only one that will sing the sacred chant as the big cannibal birds come out so on the other side of this is the woman holding the rattle and she's singing the song all the abstract blue all the way through is her breath of life, her song, which is around it. And then on the opening side where the bass comes out, because the bass is the heartbeat of our societies, that's what, uh, when we dance on Mother Earth, that's the heartbeat of the sound of the drum. So the man is the guardian of the sacred song. That's why he has a black face and he's all red. He's part of the Hamatsa society. And on the top is the elder, red face but not black. And he's overseeing and protecting and the inside is painted the eagle, which is facing downward because it hasn't been released yet. So when the eagle flies is when the song is coming. So that's why right now it's just uh, kind of calm and inside. So the whole thing is all about that sacred song.